Jones. <laughs> this is Joe Gleeden. Interior design, landscaping, anything you need. Kitchen design. We're talking about uh, uh, living space. We're talking about outer gallery, inner gallery, anything you need. Joe Gleeden is the man. He's going to walk you through his home. Good hey, job. Joe. Let's hey, go. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is my, my living room. It was, it was actually my bedroom. Um, but I kind of transformed it into a living room space. Good. I God. just reupholstered uh, this sofa here. It actually looked beat up like that chair. Jesus, um, man. And I kind of wanted to make it more me. So I added the strap design here with the buttons mm -hmm. on the side. This is the couch you were telling us about? Yes. The black one? Yeah. yeah. Good. Um, and I, I added <laughs> the pillow here. Um, and I added this. I actually wanted a rope, that roping that goes here, but I couldn't find it. But this would help hide any imperfections, so I went with that. How long did it take you to do this, Joe? Uh, I worked on it for about a month, actually, because I just kind of stopped. I kind of got tired, and I just stopped and mm -hmm. took a break, and then I would go back to it because it's very tedious. It had hundreds of little screws, nails in it all along here that I had to take out. And, and Man, how did you get the wood? So perfect like that. The wood? Yeah. I, I don't understand. I mean, finish. so the, oh, you put finish. Oh on. no, it's just uh, it was already like this when I purchased it from my cousin. I mean, I just used some. Your your, your pieces, your book pieces, your library and dictionaries it's and your Bible. Best, no, 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 no. Okay. We we looking for man. Come on, ain't nobody rolling like this. Nobody. This is Joe's they car. Need to, <laughs> <laughs> That's off the hook, Joe. What I'm actually trying to do here with this apartment is trying to introduce. Can we put this on mute? <laughs> And to... Also, let it be known that this is a basement apartment. When Joe first moved in here, there was stuff everywhere, just gotcha. storage stuff, and it had yeah. been here for years. Joe came in this place and transformed it. I wish I can give you some before pictures, but you got the after right now. Awesome. Uh, well, since you went back that far, what I, what I did <laughs> is when I moved in, actually, this carpet was not here. I recarpeted the whole floor. Um, the hallway area, I put a towel on the floor so that you can take your shoes off if there's snow or if it's wet outside. I painted all the trim around the uh, baseboard. And you laid the floor, right? Yes. Now you said this used to be a, a, a doctor's, doctor's office? Doctor's office. It's a doctor's office. I had new light fixtures put in, uh, plug sockets, things of that sort. Um, I'm trying to introduce to people different techniques and styles that you can use and do when it comes to little small spaces. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a little lost for words, actually. So I take it to and you, what do I, did you do any pieces over there? On the, uh, no. Oh, but you designed like how you put I didn't do any pieces, but I just kind of just, I collect old Bibles, so I use books in all my decorations, as you'll see in the bathroom and in the kitchen. Um, I also... Where did you get that Bible from, Joe? Some antique store. That is beautiful, man. Oh, that's the old Bible with the, uh, the, um, they had the, uh, Thing in it. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, actually, this is not the door that came with the apartment. It was a different type of door that was all wood with a window here. What I did is took a door from Home Depot, painted it, put it up. I used dummy door knobs. These are curtain rod ends that I put here. Are you serious? And because there's not <laughs> another um, bedroom in here, I use this for privacy if someone oh. spends the night they can have their own privacy in, in this room or, or i because i normally give up my bedroom Damn, oh that's nice how you did that little feature there yeah uh, so that's like a curtain hook exactly yeah yeah pull tie back a metal tie back pull back uh gosh i had to make oh my, my bedroom God. look more like a bedroom, so I kind of draped fabric around here to make it look like an entrance. Um, so you made this the master and made that the living room? Yeah, you can answer that if you want. Don't pay any attention, it's not. And also, there's no nightstands in here, so I mounted these shelves on the oh, wall to man. use to sit Beautiful. a drink or a lamp or whatever. Beautiful. But I wind up putting my lamp over top of the bed. This was the seating to a sofa that I had, and I removed it and made a headboard out of it. Um, and if you can come in and see the rest of the bedroom, um, I'm still it, working, still uh, designing things in this bedroom. Um, I'm, this is temporary. This is not what I would normally do with drapes, but <laughs> yeah, right now, good, because right. of the time, this is what I did. This is also a piece of work that I have not yet finished. Um, it's taking coins um, and decorating 
I forget what you call around. these. Like the, uh, what a half mannequin torso kind of thing? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I love that clock, man. Yeah, it's actually not the type of clock I wanted, but it was a gift, so you know you can't give everything back. Right. And I kind of used my easel in different places in the area. I had it in the kitchen at one time, but I removed it and put it back in the bedroom. This is another chair that I'm going to be reupholstering um, very soon. Damn, that's a nice um, chair, too. Where'd you get the chair from? Eastern Market. Okay. I believe. Yeah, Eastern Market. <laughs> oh, man. I th uh, this piece was in the uh, bathroom at one point in time, right? Uh, actually, it still is. Oh, it is? But oh, you did a copy. No, it's another piece, the twin picture of that one, that's in the bathroom. Gotcha. Actually, which actually never was there before. Oh, I'm just checking out the light fixture. This is another light fixture that I have put in here. Everybody hits their head on it. <laughs> Damn, I love how you uh, did this, man. I want to somehow try to find out a way. I know it's not much space. I really want some doors to come open like this and mm -hmm. to block this room off still uh, gotcha. for a little bit more privacy. So I'm kind of working on a way to figure out how to do that. And this is my hallway. I needed to find a way to open up this hallway, and I couldn't. Um, so I removed the mirror from the dining room, which is now the bedroom, and put it here. My next attempt is to take some fabric and fabric this whole wall. Um, Basically, walls that are of this sort in the apartment. It's just a flat wall straight through. I'm going to fabric it all just to, because I hate all the wood. Uh, but that's what I want to be doing. Um, this is my bathroom. And I'm trying to present to people a different technique and style in how to do bathrooms. <clears throat> I just did a mirror Good here. God. Where'd you get the mirror from, uh, man? Easter Market. Oh, how much did you run you, Joe? 150, that's all. That's why I heard you from Grafton. <laughs> Gorgeous, man. Um, Good. I mirror. And beveled mirror. Look at it. It's oval and beveled. Man, that is it's, a I think he said it's an, classic. an Anderson something, I think he said. Or oh, Adams. No, Adams. Something Adams. Adams. It's Adams. Um, <laughs> I brought these horse uh, towel Are those racks. Like They're knockers probably not actually tie racks. Right? They're probably actually knockers. Gotcha. And I'm not sure that if that's what they are, but I want to use them for towel racks. Um, I use the scumps here, so you want to have an intimate bath, mm -hmm. uh, bath or something, you can do that with candlelight. Um, and you installed all of the... Um, yeah, and as I was saying, stuff. I use these to display my books and whatever. Um, that's kind of the theme of my apartment, these little wall sconces with the shelves with the books on it. And um, this is a piece... Here that I like, uh, the Russell Lewis did that. That's uh, one of Russell Lewis's pieces. Yeah. And here's your classic that I, piece there with yeah. the um, This is also a design that I'm trying to um, create with half frames. A uh, design that I wanna, I'm want i still working on to perfect it, but that's just one of the pieces there. And then um, you put, installed the cabinet back there? Yeah, because there was no, Damn, it, as you see, this is the only medicine cabinet that was in here, so I put this in here. I'm still working on this bathroom. I'm going to be removing all of this soon and doing something totally different. Um, I don't write away. No, I'm probably going to do something, a mirror, something like this there with two light fixtures God, on, look at how you on space, man. each side here. That's the that magic the of key. working with Joe uh, Lee. If you have very little space or very large space, and turn it out. My bathroom, oh, man, I have here. changed about four times, and this is the fourth time, and it's going to stay this way. It's in a process of me um, doing something different. It's still in the process of being redecorated. I'm trying to do a different scene on each wall, nothing too much. I don't want to be too overbearing, but I had the picture in the front room of the Negress woman here, and I took it down because... With the curtains in the tassel, it looked so feminine. I tried to put a little more masculinity in it, so I'm fine with that. And I'm using cigar boxes to just display um, the storage thing because there's not much space in here. Um, and Beautiful. what I do is my light, I like to have a little lamp so you can come down the hallway in the dark. There's a little sheer light coming through. So that's another feature Beautiful. that I'm trying to do in kitchens. And that's the back door. Which is not finished because everything's going to be this dark wine color. Mm -hmm. um, here's uh, wallpaper that I put up that was all white, which you'll be able to see on that side. And I 
swept it with a little gold leaf on the stencil part so that it will pull it out and I put the brass knobs on here just to emphasize the little brass the gold flowers in there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be carpeting this floor up to this point here and I'm going to use slate tile or either this marble tile here to go all the way across here and the refrigerator is coming out and I'm going to remove it I'm getting rid of that but I'm going to put a smaller refrigerator over here just enough to house enough food just for me basically it will be about as wide as this microwave and about this tall um, and I'm going to put two dining chairs there and a little table there and that will be it for the kitchen um, I'm going to paint the ceilings and here I'm probably going to put some glass French doors paint them put glass shelves here to house my dish my, my glasses and all just my spices so the paper that you put put up yourself uh, yeah I had wallpapered the whole kitchen in this color and I thought of some old granny grandmother lady in there <laughs> so I had to get rid of it and it made me think of Christmas too much so I got rid of it so um, I'm kind of changing things but I'm finally getting the kitchen to where I want it uh, I put the picture of a nativity scene in here because I don't believe in kitchens having to have to look like a kitchen. Mm -hmm. But that's why I'm doing my kitchen this way also because I don't cook that much. So, there you have it. Beautiful. I love like that. And I, um, I don't know, I have this idea about doing something. I hate just being at a sink and looking right at a wall. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to do a little something here. To just give you something to look at, to add a little more character to the sink area. Um, gotcha. And I'm probably going to, this light is definitely coming out. And if I have my table here, I'm going to have two hanging lamps here to just hang over the table to kind of give it a more cozy. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, man. Ooh. Excellent, Joe. Joe, what got you started? What, what, what started you in, um, in interior design? Uh, actually, I really don't know. I think because I used to work in a lot of people's homes, mm -hmm. helping them reconstruct um, the home, reconstruct mm -hmm. the home, and so that's where I actually started that. And so you do that, a lot of upholstery and just... Well, I just started the upholstery in action. Okay, um, the tiles like the, so the chair is just my third piece I've done. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm just starting that, so I'm trying to go into that now.